<laughs> yeah, man, I just let it fly. However it goes, it goes. Uh, you got to be careful sometimes. Coaches don't like when you shoot off your mouth. But I try to be respectful of the other teams, just to tell you kind of what I think. I mean, I don't, with all the stuff that I said, I certainly don't want to take anything away from these SEC teams because we know they are that good. There's a reason they've won the last six national championships. But, I mean, I don't think, you know, we're five-year-old kids running around without a helmet. We think we can compete. And that was one of the points that I brought up earlier. You know, we talk about, we, we know the SEC defenses are better than the Big 12 defenses. That's a fact. It doesn't matter who they're playing against, they are. They got better athletes, sometimes better schemes, and you know, all the stuff that goes with it, they, they have been better. But people forget how good the Big 12 offenses are. People forget that the last, you know, that I, I, don't, I don't know exactly all the stats, but I mean the, the three or four best offenses in the country last year were from the Big 12. And you got guys all, all the way around. You got better athletes at receiver in a lot of the spots. I mean, the, the last two Blintenkoff war winners are in the Big 12. You had Ryan Broyles, who never even won one. That's the NCAA's all-time leading receiver. And you got quarterbacks who are always up for the Heisman in the Big 12. And, and that's not always true about the SEC. You know, part of that is due to the fact that the SEC, de SEC defenses are better. It's also due to the fact that the Big 12 offenses are quite a bit better. Mm, oh, yeah. We heard before that. You, you, I mean, the Big 12, the guys that are never, I mean, Kansas will never have a shot at playing the SEC ever in their life, but they're still hearing that the SEC defenses are better. And so it doesn't matter who you are, you're still hearing it. You know, Oregon's hearing it in the Pac-12 for whatever reason. They're never going to be in the SEC. They're, they're on the other side of the country, southeastern, whatever. It doesn't matter anymore, I guess. Well, I just, everybody's leaving, so the Southeastern Conference isn't exactly Southeastern. We're about as Midwest as it gets. We're the gateway of the West, and we're hanging out down in the Southeast somewhere. No, this is like the bottom right fourth conference. That's kind of how it is. You draw a line, and there it is. Yeah, how'd that happen? <laughs> hey, somebody got confused there, draw their line. I mean, they can switch it up. You, east and west, I don't know. You call it whatever you want, I guess. You just, uh, we're just on the other side that everybody else is. Not, not, I don't mean like that, I guess, but there's no way to divvy it up. I mean, when you go NFC East, West, it, it kind of makes sense, but the Rams are in the NFC West with the 49ers, and you're, halfway across the country. Then people get confused with directions. <laughs>